This is huge. Imagine you are able to integrate Autogen where you can create unlimited agents and you have MemGPT where you have unlimited memory and you can integrate that together. Not only that, you can run that locally on your computer with open source large language model and also with your private data. After two days of testing Autogen MemGPT with LM Studio, Light LLM and also with text generation web UI, finally I made it to work. But is that really straightforward? Did it work always? Let's see in this video. I'm going to take you through step by step on the list of things I did and the way I ran the code. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First, create a virtual environment. Conda create hyphen and autogen python equals 3.11 and click enter. Then Conda activate autogen and click enter to activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install pyautogen and in the brackets teachable and click enter. That will install the package required. Next, pip install pymemgpt and click enter. That will install the memgpt package. Next, create a file called app.py and then open the file. Inside app.py, import autogen. Next, from memgpt.autogen.memgpt agent, import create autogen memgpt agent from config. We'll be using this function to integrate autogen with memgpt. Next, config list. Open that in the bracket. We are going to provide a default model name and then API base that is 5001 slash v1. That will be port number for text generation web UI. Next, adding the API key that is null. Next, create the LLM config inside the flower bracket. Config list is equal to config. Next, we are creating a user proxy that is autogen user proxy agent with a name as user proxy. We are going to give a code execution config that will be work directory and coding is the folder. Next, we are adding a default auto reply dot dot dot. After creating user proxy, we are going to create the coder. This is where we create autogen memgpt agent from config. Name is memgpt coder and config is LLM config. System message is you are a Python developer. Now we created the coder. Next, we are going to initiate this chat. User underscore proxy dot initiate chat and we are passing the coder and then giving a message. That's where you ask what you want autogen memgpt to do. I'm going to ask create a Python function to find the first five even numbers. Now I've saved that. As a quick summary, import autogen, then memgpt autogen memgpt agent you are importing, create autogen memgpt agent from config. Next you are defining the config. You're defining a model, you're defining the API base and the URL of text generation web UI. Next, you are giving API key null, assigning that LLM config here. Here's the user proxy with the name of the user proxy and the working directory. That's where the code will get saved. We are also creating the coder that is memgpt and assigning the LLM config. And you are saying you are a Python developer. Next, you are initiating the chat and passing the coder and the message what it need to do. Now let's run this code. Let's go back to terminal. I've already showed you how to use uh, text generation web UI. I'll link that in the description below. So first you git clone text generation web UI and navigate into the, inside the folder. After that, bash start macOS.sh. I'm using Mac, so I'm using macOS.sh. If you're using Windows and or Linux, use that appropriately. And I'm going to add few parameters, which is hyphen hyphen API, hyphen hyphen listen and hyphen hyphen extensions. And I'm saying I need to open AI extension these parameters will automatically start our a required API and click enter. Now the text generation web UI got started. I'm going to navigate to that. I'm inside text generation web UI now. You can go into model and then here you're going to enter the name of the model you want to download and then the file name here and then click download. It should automatically download. In the model tab, I've chosen Mistral 7 billion parameter model and then click the load button that will load the model and click the save settings. To double check, go to session and make sure your API, open AI and then API listen everything is on. It should be on by default because of the parameters we entered. Now going back to our terminal, exports open AI API base. There we are going to give port number 5000. That's the default port number for text generation web UI API and click enter. Next export backend type is equals web UI and click enter. We have already entered port number 5001 slash v1 that's text generation web UI's port number and the URL. Now we are going to type python app.py and click enter. 
there's an error in the function name which we defined. So I'm going to go back there and change that create memgpt autogen agent from config. So slight change in the function name. I'm going to copy that and also change it here in this code area. Now I'm going to run that again. Python app.py and click enter. There's one more error here. I need to mention LLM underscore config and then save and then run that again. Python app.py and click enter. Now this is running. You can see as a user proxy, my question is to create a Python function to find the first five even numbers and it's talking to memgpt coder now and it's automatically talking to the text generation web UI and then responding from the large language model. Now you can see that there's a response from memgpt coder here, memgpt coder. All right, let's get started with that. Here is the Python function that will return the five even numbers and it defines the function and you got the function here, returned it. So we made the memgpt auto agent work locally on the computer. But did it really work? I had to try nearly four or five times for it to work one time. The main reason could be because Autogen memgpt integration is in the early stage. And also it depends on the large language model which we are currently using. I hope the Autogen memgpt integration will be improved in the upcoming days and also the large language model which we are using will be improved as well. I'm going to review this again soon. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.